Good morning and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth and thank you again for joining me in this episode. Uh, Today we're continuing on with the temptation of Jesus. And for those that are just joining this podcast, we are currently in Matthew chapter 4. And we're going through the Bible verse by verse. So today we are going to be in Matthew chapter 4. Uh, verses 5 and 6. And like I said, we're continuing on with the temptation of Jesus. And those verses say, Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. So Satan takes Jesus to the pinnacle of the temple, to the highest point of the temple. And this is actually historically significant because the temple was built on the edge of a mountain, if you will. Part of the temple wall overlooked the Kidron Valley, and it had a really steep drop from the top of the temple wall directly into the valley below. So it wasn't just, you know, a two-story drop. It was significant. It was a large drop and in verse 6 we see Satan again quoting scripture but here's the problem he twists scripture there's there's a quote I'd like to say online I say you know Satan has been twisting scripture since before it was cool now by no means am I saying that twisting scripture is cool but it's kind of a subtle dig at those who twist scripture to mean to mean something that they want it to mean rather than what it's intended to mean that's kind of what satan is doing here satan quotes scripture and he he's using psalm 91 verses 11 and 12 in a way that is directly opposite of its original meaning you see psalm 91 is more of an exhortation for us to trust in god And Satan attempts to replace trust with a test. And by testing God, we doubt his faithfulness. Testing isn't a mark of faith, but it's a lack of it. You see, Satan strategically avoided Psalm 91 verse 13 which says the serpent will trample the the serpent you will trample underfoot how convenient he used 11 and 12 and left out 13 that's what we call today taking something out of context so he avoids Psalm 91 13 which alludes to the earliest gospel announcement in scripture about the defeat of Satan in Genesis 3.15. And for those that don't know, Genesis 3.15 says that he will bruise your heel. It's what we call the Proto-Evangelon, the first gospel pronouncement. So there's a little bit of background on those two verses there. Um, encourage you to look into those a little more, but we need to be, we need to avoid not to take scripture out of its proper context. We can take a verse here and a verse there, and make it mean something that the author and God Himself never meant it to mean. And that's what Satan is doing here, trying to get Jesus, trying to tempt Jesus. Well, God bless you guys. Thank you for joining me on this edition of the Daily Bible Podcast. Have a fantastic day. Uh, If you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your friends. Please go on iTunes and give it a rating. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you.